There are people who act a lot like vampires. The vampire myth is thought to have originated as an explanation for certain unpleasant diseases that mimic vampire traits. For instance, what is now known as porphyria causes rashes or blisters to develop on the skin when exposed to sunlight, and rabies causes light sensitivity, aggression, and biting. And while there is no evidence that anyone has actually needed to drink human blood to live, people have been drinking it since the first century AD to try to cure illnesses, particularly epilepsy. The belief in curative properties of blood was either linked to religion, from the testimony of a cured patient, or even by a doctor. Today, people who drink human blood are called sanguinarians, or real vampires. Unlike our blood-hungry ancestors who drank the blood of people who were recently killed, today's sanguinarians drink the blood of willing donors, believing that it will cure an illness or make them stronger. Clinically, their compulsion to drink blood is referred to as Renfield Syndrome, named after a character in Dracula. It's a very rare disorder, and there's been very little study on it, but some scientists believe it may be a psychiatric illness. However, drinking human blood comes with some complications. Mainly, humans don't have the right mechanisms needed to digest it, and the high levels of iron can be toxic. But there are ways scientists are using blood as a medical tool. Blood transfusions, for instance, save countless lives each year, and scientists are now finding that they could be used to treat diseases associated with aging. In 2005, researchers discovered that by connecting the circulatory systems of young and old mice, the tissues in old mice were rejuvenated by the blood of young mice. Later, the same results were found to occur after a single blood transfusion. These discoveries have led to further investigations into the properties of young blood in order to determine what components are causing this aging reversal and how they can be applied to patients. Several clinical studies are already underway on patients with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease after studies on mice found that giving young plasma to old mice led to improved cognition. But we may not even need to use other people's blood. New research on mice has shown that by simply diluting one's own plasma, similar anti-aging effects are achieved. So while drinking blood won't do you any good, one day soon, we may be using blood transfusions or plasma modifications to combat age-related diseases and eventually even help us live longer.